as we enter the first full week of the yellow phase, many people are returning to work and to accommodate extra passengers. The Port Authority is restoring dozens of routes. Chris Hoffman now with how both they and the airport are keeping commuters safe. With many businesses recently reopening their doors, there were more cars on the road Monday morning. Starting um, like last Friday, Thursday, I can definitely see the difference. And to handle more passengers, Port Authority restored almost 40 routes to full service. It's been really nice. I, I really like the bus service because it's convenient. I use it every day. Safety measures already in place will still be in effect, like passenger limits. 10 for 35-foot buses, 15 for 45-foot buses, and 25 for 60-foot buses and T-cars. I tried to stay far apart from other people, like six, six feet, and I tried to be very careful. It is asking passengers to wear masks, enter on the back of the bus, and avoid paying cash. We'll be disinfecting once every 24 hours. Every vehicle that goes out that's going to pick up passengers is going to be disinfected. Masks will also be required at the Pittsburgh International Airport. It plans to promote social distancing by placing signs on the floors and moving furniture in its common areas. The airport also says it's the first to have self-driving robots to clean the floors with ultraviolet light. We've partnered with Carnegie Robotics for the last year in testing the autonomous floor scrubber. When the pandemic hits, we're able to quickly pivot and add the ultraviolet to it to get that even deeper clean. The airport is looking to have contact-free technology to help pay for parking and food. Now, to see the full list of all the buses back in service, head on over to kdka.com and our app. Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.